So what the hell? I managed to recruit a few guys who I trust, but like me, aren't happy with what's going on. So why am I here? I wanted to give you this. You were right about your wife. How did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Nero personnel, federal officials, and well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a class four federal clearance level. Clearance level. The wife bugged out with a recon unit east of Fort Roth. Take me there. No. No? Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? A year ago. Local militia group. Militia group? Where's their camp? We don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. Oh, I want to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. As bad as things are right now, they're gonna get worse. A lot worse. Boozer, Boozer, man, come back. Yeah, Dean. Hey, listen, listen to me. Uh, a year ago, we were with Iron Mike. We were thinking about riding south. The Byzantium Pass was blocked. There was no way through, and he said that he knew another way. Dean, Iron Mike is, is not too happy with us right now. Just listen to me. Just listen to me. Do you remember what he said? Iron Mike? Yeah, he was he was bragging about knowing every goat trail in a hundred miles. Said there was a. Trail that went around Mount Teals. Teals not from somewhere. Tealson, Tealson, yeah, that's it. Tealson Pass. Yeah. Why the hell you? Shit. You <laughs> talk to Slide? Sarah's alive. <laughs> okay, listen to me, O'Brien. They uh, Boozer found her ID badge. Yeah, Boozer uh. I, I think she's alive. Indeed. Never lost hope. Yours, then. I never gave up. So what are you gonna do? I don't know, Boozer. I don't know, uh, but... God, if there's even a chance that she's alive, I... I gotta find her. God damn right. Uh, shit, I, I gotta go. Uh, Ricky and Annie need, need help putting up a shelf. I'll see you when you get back to camp. Okay, okay, see you. It's kind of pointless to uh, say anything since I know that you uh, didn't die out here. Just a habit, I guess. But um, coming out here every so often, talking to you, uh, that was uh, the only thing that kept me sane, you know? So uh, thank you.
All right, let's see what the old man's got to say. You know a way over the Tielson Pass. He told me once that I... I'd... told you nothing. Go on, oh, I can't on. help you, Deke. Just draw me a goddamn map. After everything you've done! After everything I've... What about what you've done, old man? Huh? huh? Sherman's you camp, the things that you, you get did... Out you get out of here! You leave me! What if? You could take it all back, huh? What if you could fix it? The fact that I put Sarah on a chopper, I felt relieved. How fucked up is that? Uh, I was relieved. Mike, that's what I've been living with. And now you're chasing ghosts. You think finding your old lady, if she's alive, you think that's gonna fix it? Make you whole? I don't know, but I gotta try. <sighs> All right. If I do this, what you want, show you the way over the pass. You don't come back. All right, you promised me. You don't come back. I got gotcha. you. <sighs> Shit, now I gotta talk to Boozer. So what do you want to do? Go down there? This block in the road, snow and ice? I worked at the Humane Society. Had a small office and a dog pen outside of Sisters. That's it for now. Had maybe a hundred dogs. Strays mostly. A few had owners who would show up eventually. And one of the guys brought in a sick call. Deacon, good to see you. How's life treating you, Blair? Okay. Hey, come around more often. We miss you. Hey, how's it going, Deke? What's up, Joe? Nice, good haul. That's all I got for now. See you later, man. Shit. Loser, I, I... Uh -huh. Huh. Last winter, we were up on Farewell Ridge. We were watching the freaks. Thousands, thousands of them. I mean, too many to count. Yeah, I remember. All I could think was every one of us, man, woman, and child, are now homeless. A bunch of goddamn refugees. Yeah. World belongs to them now. We'll survive. <laughs> yeah, we've been doing that all right. Surviving isn't living. <laughs> Something Jack used to say, doesn't matter when you hit the road where you're heading out to, but you damn well better know where you're coming home to. 
You know, we never talked about it. While we still wore the colors all this time out in the freak show and shit like this didn't matter anymore. Yeah, yeah but I think. Last two Mongols on Earth, farewell originals. Uh, the biker boys, the most badass drifters on the broken road. Damn straight. Yeah, I guess we did become sort of a brand. Uh, we were a lot of things, but we were never a brand. <laughs> <laughs> We rode out of Farewell without Sarah, without Jack or anyone. I knew that we were leaving everything behind. Everything that mattered was gone. Said this. You got Nomad again, huh? Yep, I guess I am. Come on, Jack. Inside, let's go. She's out there. You can find her. Yeah, Mike, I'm ready. Meet me at the gate. Don't keep me waiting. Yeah, sure, Mike, whatever you say. Hey. Our big Mike is taking you over the pass? Yep. Like Iron Mike, like Boozer? What'd you call us? Campers, yeah? You go, and you find your woman. You know where to find me. Yeah. And you know what, you know what I think, Deacon? I think that you're, you're afraid to be here. You're afraid to be a part of something. We need you here, and that scares the hell out of you. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, me too. You ready? Yeah, I want to get the hell out of here. Come on, this way. Okay, I'm following you. Jack out fishing once, before, you know. Oh shit. I got one. Didn't know what the hell to do with it. <laughs> that sounds like Jack. Oh, you ran a pretty tight club. Or you boys raised some hell back in the day. I don't think you murdered anyone. Not in cold blood. 
It's not murder if they shoot at you first. we used to get through here come summer? A few. Thousands. Too many to count. Highway me bumper to bumper with SUVs and campers chock full of sunburned moms, beer chugging dads, and their snot-nosed kids. Goddamn rainbow, floppy hats, Hawaiian shirts, and flippy flops. All summer long they come. A trail of colorful lands from L.A. to farewell to here. Non-stop. Glad I avoided road trips out here that time of year. This is as far as I go. Keep following the trail. It'll take you down the mountain, on into the Diamond Lake Valley. I wish you luck. Hope you're right about your old lady still being alive. She is. Well, maybe so. But you gotta ask yourself, Deke. What does it matter if everyone else is dead?
What the hell? Jesus. I don't know what we would have done without oh, you, man. Oh, come on. Hey, Thank okay, you, all right, all right, all right. It's dead. It's cool. Man of the hour. Oh, God. I'm Russell. Glenn Russell. This is Private Mullins. Uh, Rick. Hey, Rick. Uh, I'm Deacon St. John. Did, did you say private? Yeah. Yes, sir. The Shoots County Militia. You're not from around here. You come over the pass? Uh, no, no, no. I've just been uh, drifting. I came over the uh, salt flats east of Silver Lake. <laughs> What? what the hell are you doing out here, man? How'd you get across the 97? Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus, man. What? This guy just saved your freaking life. The colonel told us to look out for anybody entering the territory, north or south. Freaking slow your roll, man. We'll let the captain deal with that, okay? Fine. He just killed a freaking ranger, dude. Come with us. We got a camp just by Diamond Lake. Get you three hots in a cot. Least we can do. Okay, yeah, sounds good. What about Flores? We can't just leave him here. Uh, you stay here. I'll come back with some fuel. No! Listen, stay here. Use his ammo if you gotta. You'll be fine. Okay? Let's go. Following you. Shoots county militia? Look, man, all I know is they feed me. They want me to salute and yes, sir, I salute and say yes, sir. How big's your outfit? The camp out here? We got a hundred, maybe more. Hard to keep track. Back at HQ, a whole lot more than that. Yeah, okay. Uh, any women? Hell, that what you're about? Well, you can forget it. Girls got rules about that. Frat, fratern, fratern Fraternizing! <laughs> yeah, that. Look, you pull your weight, follow orders, nobody messes with you. Women same as the men. Don't matter to the colonel. I'm not... Uh, listen, I, I'm just... I'm looking for some people and a woman that I rode with a year back or so. They would have come over from Silver Lake, and they would have been at one of those Nero refugee camps, I think. Silver Lake? Jesus, man. Silver Lake's been gone a lot longer than that. Yeah, yeah, it's too goddamn easy to lose track of time out of here, you know? Anyway, you guys, uh, do you pick anyone up? Survivors, I mean, from, uh, from the refugee camp? Maybe. Like I said, it's a big freaking army, you know? Ask the captain. He came in across the salt flats, I think. He might know. The captain? Yeah, Corey. He commands the Diamond Lake outpost. We're almost there. This is it. It's Corporal Russell. Open up. Report. 
Captain, sir, we had him. We did. Found his bike still smoking. I bet you lost him, huh? Uh, no, sir. I mean, yeah, we lost him. We ran into a rager, sir. Where's Mullins? Flores? Flores is dead, sir. I'll have Mullins with a body. Not will be all, Corporal. Go get some fuel. Head back to Mullins. You know what to do. Yeah. Yes, sir. If it wasn't for this man, we'd all be dead, sir. I sort of promised him some food and a safe place to camp tonight, sir. Corporal, get the fuck out of here. And you are? Name's Deacon St. John. Name's Corey. Derek Corey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. I've been on the road for a long time. Your man Russell said you were recruiting. Well, are you interested? I've been looking to settle down. Yeah, find a camp. I'm interested. Come on. So, how long you drifting? Hard to say. Uh, you lose track of time out there, you know? So, uh, where'd you get your gear? Ammo. Well, there's a couple of camps I used to do runs for. Bounty hunting, mostly. Greeks? Or men? Both. I had a reputation for being able to track shit down, you know? Together. Keep it together. Oh, camps? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, past the Farewell Valley. It doesn't matter. They're gone now. They're overrun. Uh... Russell said you were there Let's when work. Silver Lake was overrun. Yes, Sergeant. Yes, Sergeant. Yes, Sergeant. Yeah. That was a shit show, I can tell you. Uh, any survivors? A few. Here. Take this. Militia script. Camp credits. Payment for helping my men. Use them at any of the commissaries. Okay. You gonna join up? Stick around. We're getting ready to ride out of here soon. Getting ready to ride out where? You said you had some tracking skills. Yeah, some. This isn't the life of a drifter. We're fighting a war out here. You sure you're up for it? Is that the best you got? I can recruit you. But the Colonel is the only one who can swear you in. You stick around. Give us a hand. I'll take you to him myself. I'll be here. Good. Jesus. Jesus, motherfucker, has my ring. He took it from Sarah. He had to take it from Sarah because she wouldn't have given it to him. So that means that she's got to be here. Hey, uh, how's it going? Hey, uh, you don't look very militia to me. No, um, man, name's Wade, Wade Taylor. You can call me Wade. Deacon St. John. <laughs> Holy Listen. shit, Deacon St. John? Is your old man a preacher or something? No. Man, that is a hell of a name. All right, listen. You Wait. see this, man? This is some crazy shit. Yeah. Whew. So what, you joining up, becoming an army man, you playing soldier and shit? I don't know, maybe. Listen, mm -hmm. uh, you look like you just came in from out the shit, right? Yeah, man, yesterday, okay, yesterday. I've been, I've been waiting to see the colonel, whatever the hell that is. Traveling with some people, we got separated. You see anyone that looked like this around here? Uh, nah, man. Ooh, she is a looker. I'd hit that, you know. <laughs> uh, I gotta go, man. They're checking me for lice or some shit. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Jesus, what a name. Jesus, that dude's fucked up. He wouldn't remember Sarah if she slapped him in the face. Oh, come on, Sarah, come on. Where the hell are you? You're here. You're somewhere. Maybe in these tents. Maybe in here. The infirmary. I mean, with her background, that's where she would be, right? Nope, not here. Check this one. Oh, damn it, she's not here either. It's 
it's gotta be the one. Sarah? Sarah, you in here? Shit, not here. Oh, God damn it, she's not here. She's not here, but... Right, yeah, yeah, it couldn't be that easy. Now could it? Cube drives? St. John, are you on this channel? Whoa, Corporal whoa, Russell said you had a radio. Whoa. Come on. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm here. My dead Meet me at the gate. My dead I'm away. How's it going? What's up? Yes, yes. Moving. 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 Getting ready to ride out. You still coming? Ready when you are. So you put a lot of work into this. Yeah, some. have nowhere to sleep. You know your freaks, huh? Like I said, I've been out in the ship for a long time. So that's your plan, huh? The militia, I mean, to burn everything to the ground? We're fighting a war out here, St. John. We'll do whatever it takes to win. A war? That's what it is, isn't it? A war? You've been out in the ship. You've seen the hordes. The only thing that's gonna stop them is an army. Our army. It's gonna take way more than an army. You have a plan? The Colonel lets you join? Oh, Silver Lake. You asked about survivors. You looking for someone? No. No, not really. I mean, look, there were some folks that I rode with once, and I thought maybe they ended up there. Uh, I thought maybe you were after someone. For a bounty, I mean. Yeah, no. I tracked men over long distances before, but not this far. No bounty's worth that. This is it. Captain's here. It's done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right. You two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh, Taylor was his name? Yes, sir. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. Oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. You find something? Uh, how long is, uh... Vasquez. Well, has Vasquez been with you guys? A couple of weeks, maybe more. <laughs> well, he's been busy. What the hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? <laughs> because Vasquez came out here for a reason. I can't track him from the bike. Where do we start? It's been snowing, so, uh, there won't be any boot prints. Come on, I want to look inside the cabin. Okay, I'm following you. So he stole rations, ammo? Yes. This is an MRE. It's half eaten, so looks like your men rode up on him when he wasn't expecting it. His bike's still out front, which means that he went out the back. Might be useful.
Wait, over here. What would you find? The fence has been cut. And the rust. So it was cut recently? Yeah, come on, this way. Hey, hold on for a second. Look. Over here. Tracks? Uh, yeah, we're in luck. <sighs> this way. Wait, 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 hold up. Uh, you find something? Yeah, shell casing. Recently fired. He, uh, well, he stopped to shoot at something. Come on, down here. Get out of here! What are you doing? That didn't work for you? Don't get a wolf? Yeah. Depends. On what? Look out! More wolves! I see him! That's the last of them. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. Nice work. I want to take a look at this thing. Looks like the MREs weren't enough for your man. Clean gunshot right through the head. Yeah, the wolves must have heard the shot. Decided they wanted it more than Vasquez. Yeah, the rest of the pack came at us from back that way, from the east. You think they chased off Vasquez, leaving one to guard the carcass? <sighs> That's my guess. Come on, let's see if you're right. You guys got a lot of wolves out here? Ones that aren't infected, I mean. Yeah, we get reports almost every day. When I was a kid growing up, there were no wolves in Oregon. I mean, a few coyotes, but no wolves. They'd been driven to extinction by ranchers and farmers, timber companies. Well, it looks like they're making a big comeback. Hold up, hold up, hold up. But what is it? It's a backpack. It's one of ours. Looks like they almost got to him. And he shrugged off the pack to get away. No, no, no. To buy time. He landed on his ass. Tried to scramble away, but then the wolf lunged. Vasquez dropped him. Two shots. You can tell all that. Yeah. There with you. I gotta say, I'm getting tired of running and hiding from these sons of bitches. You ever take on a swarm? Yeah, I've done it before. You just gotta keep moving. Well, look, are you gonna join the militia? You must stay focused on the mission. We're not out here to fight freaks. Being in the shit, killing freaks, it kinda goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Put some distance between us and the graves. The cold weather's gonna bring out even more of them. I think they can smell the corpse from about a mile out. Part of our slash and burn strategy is to find these grave sites, dig them up, and burn them along with everything else. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I've seen hundreds of them. It's just in this part of the state alone. We've gotta start somewhere. All right, where now? Keep heading east. Hey, there's a road ahead. Hold up a second. What do you think? 
Is anyone else tracking him? Not that I know of. Huh. Well, but he's either dead, or he's got a lot of friends. You see how his tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Let's see where they're heading. You said cold weather brings out the freaks? Yeah, yeah. Cold, snow, rain, hell, even clouds. Well, like I said before, you know your freaks. When we get to command, there's some people who want to talk to you. People? The Colonel will fill you in, if he lets you join. Yeah, yeah, I think you said that already. Look, he runs a tight outfit. I just don't want you to get your hopes up. Hey, don't worry about me. I don't really give a damn either way. Hey, wait. Hear that? Yeah, it's coming from the logging camp over there. Is that on your map? Yeah. Oh, that means it's also on Vasquez's map. Come on. If Vasquez is there, what would your strategy be? Well, he's not alone. We know that from the tracks. What's that militia penalty for going AWOL? Hanging by the neck until dead. Why? Well, it means Vasquez isn't coming without a fight. Your man? Yeah. That's him. Well, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. He seems to be right at home. Well, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, oh this one's a fighter, boys! On. What do you think? Oh, no, we'll see about that. <laughs> oh, hell no. What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? <laughs> You see me wearing a red armband? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want. Easy, easy. I'm not gonna. I'm just here to help. I don't need your goddamn help. Okay. I'm just gonna move over here. Stay the hell away from me! Hold on, hold on. Now, we're not with them. 
think I give a damn who you are? Okay. Okay. What the hell was that? Just your typical damsel in distress. Vasquez? Done. Way done. Captain Corey? Come in. This is Corey. We're here. Heading up the road to the main gate. Hold your position there. We're coming. What about the enemy? They've been, uh, uh neutralized. Uh, hold your position. Curry out. Come on. We brought up your bikes, Captain. Thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? Oh, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you passed. Oh, you ready to meet the colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why the hell not? <laughs> So, St. John, where did you serve before the ship went down? And you know what an MRE looks like. You know how to recon an enemy position. You know cover in advance, tactical maneuvers. So, where did you serve? Marines? Army? I try not to talk about it, you know? I mean, first year out here, it seemed like anyone who used to wear a uniform had a target on their back. I, uh, I was in the Army, 10th Mountain. I did a full tour in Afghanistan. How about you? Anyone who's ex-military has a, a certain bearing. None of your soldiers have it, but you do. Like I said, you got a good eye. I was in the Air Force 10 years, part of SAC. There ain't no missile silos in Oregon. I was on vacation, believe it or not. I was lucky. Before SATCOM went down, I got hourly reports from across the country. You think it was bad out here? Everything east of the Mississippi was overrun within two days. Hold up. I want to show you something. So, are you familiar with this area? Yeah. I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell. You know it? No. Uh, it sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about it. So maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here uh, a few summers back. Me and my old lady, or my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pic? Uh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> my name was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was a long time ago. Hmm. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why, because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. <sighs> Speak for yourself. After you. Mm. All right. Uh, you know, making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chival what? No, it means, um... <laughs> right. I never learn. I'm sorry about that. Oh my god, you should have seen the look on your face. Oh, I bet it was funny. Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd have taken a picture. Well, for just this once, I'm glad that you don't. Oh, come on, don't start on that again. Hey, I didn't say anything. You brought it up. You just did.
So, where are we going? Just follow the trail. You'll see that it's not that far. <laughs> what would my mom say if she knew I was out on a midnight stroll in the middle of nowhere with an outlaw biker? I don't know. She'd say, honey, you better wear your sweater. Very funny. No, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Oh, come on, Deacon. I said that a long time ago. You know I didn't mean that. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm just... I mean, I, just, I haven't told my old man. That's because your father's dead. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, there's that. The question is, have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in. Oh, well, oh, okay, wait a second. No, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there, that's true, but we don't live there. And second, uh, I did tell them. Yeah, matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhD is to be very sexy. I bet. So, you know this is way past my bedtime. Oh, I know. I <laughs> wouldn't stop. I mean, I really do have to get over it in Yeah? Uh, how's that going? I mean, uh, well, you never want to talk about it, so... It's nothing. It's just... Ugh, it's just this project, and we've got these execs flying in from New York to out of our progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even showing me the spec, and... Ooh, well, I thought you didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Sorry, it's just... You know what, like I said, it's nothing. Anyway, thank you for dragging me away from all that. Yeah, no problem. Oh, wait, is this a pop card? Is this what you wanted to show me? Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants, and that's an irrigation system. So this here, this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that, pot farm. You dragged me out in the middle of the night to the middle of nowhere to show me the MC's illegal knowing operation. Uh, yeah. I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation. Put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, TQ, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. Yeah, <sighs> you think I would learn? You think I would learn, but I never learn. Nope. God. God, look at that moonlight. It is, it's so beautiful. Keep going. Uh, we're almost there. You ever wonder what it would be like if just everywhere all at once the lights went out and everyone could just see the world just like this? What, you mean like all dark and shadowy and depressing? I mean the moonlight, the wildflowers, the fireflies. Oh, I see you were kidding again. Okay, you don't take anything seriously. Oh, I take everything seriously. Oh, yeah, right. I do. You do not. Like when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh-oh, -uh, no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. You should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone and I took a picture. You want me to show you? My God, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay, first of all, all I said is that we should think about moving in together. You know, because we get to spend more time together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? You're right. That is a huge commitment. Well, I mean, do you know how much a good toothbrush costs? Okay, see, there you go again. Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. Okay, all right. We do need to talk about it, and we will talk about it, but just hold on for a second, because I want to... <laughs> I want to show you something, okay? See? This is why I brought you out here.
Wow, how beautiful. Was it worth it? God, yes. <laughs> hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? <gasps> Deacon? Will you... Will I? Will you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> So that a yes? On two conditions. Name them. Okay, well, the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're gonna ride me as much as your bike. Done, I couldn't promise that anyway. Oh, stop. Okay, the second one, the second one is that you never leave me. Done. Did you just break your biker ring off my finger? Ah, you know what? <laughs> I think I probably Ooh. did. <sighs> Look at it. It's so cute with its little fangs just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like dog skulls. Dog skulls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. Morier Invictus hmm. means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. Well, you're gonna get me like a real ring, though, right? But not that this one's no, not absolutely, great. Because I, I just you know, thought that's my ring, right? It's your that, ring. Right. Something more simple, without fangs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's your room. It's the lab. I gotta get it. Okay. Hello? Yeah. No, 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 it's fine. I'll be right there. Okay, bye. Is everything okay? I don't know. They need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute? Like, th this time of night? I'm sorry. I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Come on. My wife's name was, uh, Beth. No, I don't have a pick. Let's go. What do we got? Not unusual, you know. I'm sorry, what's that? To not have any photos of your wife, family. Yeah, why do you say that? Back in the day, everyone used smartphones. That's where we kept all our photos. When phones went away, when the cloud went away, our photos went with them. Yeah, I guess I hadn't thought about that. My wife, Carrie. Her father was a photographer. Old school. Dark room, chemicals, all that. Too stubborn to embrace the digital age, I think. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have any photos either. Yeah, well, I hated him. Cell phones, I mean. It seemed like everyone walked around with their noses buried in the damn things. I never owned one. Interesting. How'd you manage that? I worked as a mechanic. I, uh, I had my own shop. Probably had the last landline in Farewell. You guys are taking this shit seriously. The Colonel believes with enough motivation and discipline, we can achieve anything. Come on, hurry your ass up. I'm going as fast as I can. Just move it! 
Is that your idea of motivation? Colonel has set up a work camp on the south side of the island for those unfit to serve. Some of them require extra encouragement. I'll bet. Come on, follow me. Yes, sir. Stand up there with the others. Good luck, St. John. Got your ass too, huh? Whatever. Hey, man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son of the preacher, man? Taylor, what's this son of a preacher, man shit you keep saying? I'm just kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? What? The, the woman you were looking for, you and your peeps were riding with. No. I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. What? Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. This side shit's just gonna get stolen. Come on, cough it up. Oh, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. Goddamn bullshit. Tin hut! <laughs> At ease. Visitors are not welcome. You are here because you were invited, recruited by my trusted officers. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first. Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Atkins, Crystal, sir. How many men have you killed? Before or after? Answer the question. Fuck you! We have all done things that we're not proud of. What? To survive. To stay alive. The Almighty understands this. Right. The Almighty forgives yeah. this. Amen. Amen. <laughs> but here, upon this woman's face, are the footprints of Satan. Prison tattoos. Proof of what you once were and no doubt still are. It's people like her that are responsible for bringing the wrath of the Almighty down upon us all. <laughs> Take her to the work camp. What? The you. Fuck you! Come oh. on, gorgeous. Let's Goddamn go. Goddamn redneck asshole! Get off of me! <laughs> I swear, to God. What about get you? Off me. Uh, Taylor. Uh, wait. And um, no, sir. I uh, never been to jail. Never killed anyone. Nothing like that. You've been in the shit for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I know. I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid. Was at, at a camp near Klamath Falls. It got. And how about you, son? You know how to use a gun? St. John, Deacon. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain, Iraq? Afghanistan. Honorable service, and don't lie to me. Oh, no. Served one tour, served with honor. Hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. Good man. Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new constitution of these United States? Against all enemies, natural and unnatural, to bear witness and support to the same, and to obey all orders without question. So, do you swear? I swear. Dismissed! Walk with me, son. Captain Curry doesn't bring me many recruits these days. You must think highly of your combat skills. Uh, I've been in the shit a long time. You know your way around the freaks? 
Yes, sir. I, uh, I know as much as anyone, sir. Good, good. In here. We'll have the doc take a look at you. Pulse is strong. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run in with a wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Yeah, thank you. Keep it dressed or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc? Oh, he's fit to serve. Lo hará bien. You doing runs out on the ship? <laughs> Sorry, Doc. Uh, ya tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. Let me guess. The Wizard Island Witch. <clears throat> Vaya con Dios. Good luck, amigo. Let's go, son. I normally don't tolerate insubordination, referring to an officer as a witch. But I make exceptions for some of my more eccentric officers. Yes, sir. I make exceptions because every man and woman still living has a role to play. Do you believe in God, St. John? Never gave it much thought, sir. Well, it's high time that you did. He has a plan for us, all of us. And my part is this. Sir? This place. I had a vision. Oh, nothing so grand as those described in the Old Testament. No flaming chariots or burning bushes. I simply woke up one morning before God's plague had rained down upon the world and knew that this was the place. Crater Lake, uh, Wizard Island. I call it the Ark. Are you familiar with the story of Noah's Ark? Yeah, I mean, yes, sir. I mean, everyone's, everyone's heard of it. Indeed. You'd be surprised how few have read the Bible or the Book of Revelations. You mean Genesis, Noah's story. I mean, uh, that... It's, it's the Book of Genesis, sir. Yes, of course. Okay, son, let's get you squared away. Whatever you say. Now... We don't have much in the way of uniforms, I'm sorry to say, but uh, I think that... Uh, oh, here. Try this on. Seems to fit. I'll take that. Well, if you don't mind, this is a gift from an old friend. An old friend? <laughs> not many of those left anymore, are there? No, there are not. Okay, soldier. But I don't want to see you wearing it. You're one of us now. Normally we start new recruits in the rank of private. But since Captain Curry has vouched for your experience in the field, we are starting you out at the rank of corporal. Thank Congratulations, you. son. Thank you, sir. Yeah, let's get you some work. All right. Now, what was I saying? Uh, you were telling me about the Ark, sir. Yes, the Ark. What you see here is only a small part of it. Behind us is a whole network of caves and vents that lead from here up to the Cone's Peak. When our work is complete, they will be filled with thousands of seeds, plants, computer files, and books. The world may die. But our achievements in medicine, science, and technology will not die with it. No, sir. But the island is more than just an arc, Corporal. It is a stronghold, a fortress. Here at the North Gate, we are stockpiling enough munitions to take the fight to the freaks. We have rifles, grenades, heavy machine guns, and RPGs. We have the equipment to make ammunition. Every type, every caliber. This is our mechanical engineering area. 
If you need your bike repaired, see the officer on duty. And as you can see here, courtesy of the old National Guard, we are building a fleet of trucks and other vehicles. Once the hordes are cleared from the highways, we will begin to rebuild the roads and bridges. Your slash and burn strategy may stop newts and swarmers, but it won't clear the highway. It won't, it won't stop the hordes, sir. We are aware, Corporal. The hordes. The hordes are a different beast entirely, aren't they? But we have a plan. Plan, sir? Benjamin Franklin once said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. We are not going to fail. The heart of the army lives here, at the gate, ready to move on my command. These tents house hundreds of women and men, just like yourself, who have pledged and sworn their lives to the fight. But I have something else in mind for you. An assignment that requires more than just the Should ability the to survive in the shit or use a gun. Yeah, you do that. Are you up for it, son? Uh, yes, sir. Wherever you need me. You asked how we were going to defeat the Horde? Let me show you. You okay, Lieutenant? Oh, hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Feet the enemy. Sorry, but yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. St. John, Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show, right, Colonel? Corporal St. John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit. He's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. There's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphthenic and palmitic acid. Mm, you're working on napalm? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky guess. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where are you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. <clears throat> Again, let me apologize for my more eccentric officers. No need, sir. We have one final stop. As much as I believe in Lieutenant Weaver's work, what you're about to see could be, I think, our path to victory. All right, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Okay, well, why don't you read it? <sighs> Active ingredients. Chlor chlor chloroform and uh, eight tur turpin... Tur Get out. Shit. Get out! I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered. Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John. He's a new member of Corey's unit. He's got some experience out in the shit. Read this. What? Read this. I mean, you can read, can't you? Active ingredients, chloroform, aterpenol, benzo alcohol, ethylathic acid. Good enough. When can he start? Ah, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Leave us. Sir. Stand at attention.
you're dead. You're supposed to be dead. Hey, hey, hey. You're dead. It's okay. You're dead. I'm right here. Wait, wait a second. I, I don't understand. I couldn't I find you. you had died, and I. Uh, yeah. No, we were overrun, and, and we had to go south. We, Nero, they yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made I it out. Ryan and Farewell I was overrun. They said that everybody the was dead. And I, didn't think that I never thought I would see you again. Hey, listen, now we can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't look back. Come on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. Are they, are they forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I ain't coming to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. <sighs> Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. Corporal St. John to Lieutenant Weaver. Come back. St. John to HQ. This is Weaver. What can I do for you, Corporal? Uh, your requisition form says you need mercury. Any idea where I can get it? Yeah, sure. I should have written that shit down for you. It comes from, uh, Cinnabar. Corey's unit scouted out of mine north of Diamond Lake. Head there, radio me when you arrive. Yes, sir. Hey, between you and me? If the colonel isn't around, stop with all the yes sir, no sir bullshit, all right? Makes me feel old. <clears throat> Corporal St. John, is it? Yes, sir. Come in. Just enjoying a cup of tea, herbal, courtesy of uh, Lieutenant Whitaker. Would you like to try some? It's very good for the digestion. Uh, no, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm, I was just looking for the duty roster. I have an assignment for you. Men, Corporal. Not that they deserve to be called that. They've taken one of ours. Lieutenant Justine Norwood, a fine officer. And they have her, so, uh, yes, I will get her back, sir. With the help of men like you, we're going to take back this world. Dismissed. Lieutenant Weaver, you there? I'm at the mine. Good, good. Okay, man. You take a look around. The report I saw listed ore testing kits. You're gonna need one. <laughs> ore testing kit. Copy that. Uh, Cinnabar is kinda red, but not shiny. It'll have a dull luster to it. It's gonna be hard to miss. Test the ore. It's gotta be at least 60% pure, or I can't use it. All right, got it. Testing kit, testing kit. Where the hell am I gonna find an ore testing kit? Maybe one of these uh, shacks? <sighs> Not that in here. I can't fuel can. I need a testing kit, I don't need fuel. Hmm. 
Testing kit, yeah. What did he say? Red Rock, Doll Luster. Cinnabar, yeah. All right. Let's see if this pump is working. Testing. Yep, just pure enough. All right, I gotta look around, find some more. Yeah.
That's it. Water's going down. Gotta finish collecting this ore. Just one more. Cinnabar. Yeah. All right, let's see how pure this is. Come on. Oh, yeah, real do. Elevator shaft. Oh, god damn it. Wonder where this goes. Only one way to find out. Ah, what's up here? Another tunnel? Looks like this one was abandoned a long time ago. Just what the doctor ordered. Yeah, <sighs> an apple a day. Huh? My poor quarter. Huh? Jesus, that's a big guy. Yes, yes it is. Field note two zero seven two. We are at site sixty nine. The where are we? The lost cabin. Lieutenant Weaver. Thank you, Saint John. The lost cabin. Got the bar you asked for. We have euthanized a specimen of Homo sapiens, Tams, Homo sapiens, using oh, ten thousand milligrams of ketamine. Can I help you, Lieutenant? Reference. We were in a bicycle club. Zero seven one, where six thousand yeah, milligrams was barely enough to subdue the Homo sapiens, Tams, Albino. We tracked this subject from its Don't primary habitat and structures on the Fuck northern off. rim of Crater Lake. St. John. What used to be the visitor center. Yeah, sorry center. about that. Anyway, yeah, just drop off the oil as soon as you can. Currently, we have no working theory get. as to the subject's <laughs> migratory habits, living patterns, or... How about why it's so goddamn big? Got any theories about that? Yeah, as a matter of fact, we do. Really? Yeah. Blood tests have shown that Homo sapiens mutans corporosis have extremely elevated amounts of anabolic steroids. Wait, so... What? Before they became infected, they were voided out? Basically, yeah. Not that they were all bodybuilders or athletes taking illegal synthetic androgens. Some probably had naturally high levels. The results the same. Yeah? What's that? They can literally tear you in half. Come on. Let's get these samples graded up and get out of here. Oh, <laughs> roided out freaks. That's just great.
Beacon St. John to Captain Corey. St. John to Corey, come back. St. John, I've just spoken with the Colonel. He's assigned you to the Research Division? Captain, uh, Research Division, or, uh, yeah, I guess you would call it that. Uh, I'm helping Lieutenant Weaver and Lieutenant Whitaker. Good. They can use all the help you can offer. I don't know how much help I'm gonna be and just sort of their errand boy for now. And actually, that's why I radioed in. Lieutenant Whitaker gave me a requisition form that says yeast. Yeast? Hold a second. We have patrols making supply runs throughout the region. When they come across anything of potential value, they note it down. Yes. Here. The yeast and other baking supplies were noted in the kitchen area of the Crater Lake Visitors Center. You know where that is? Yeah, I could find it. Good luck, Corporal. Curry out. Lieutenant. <laughs> nah, man. Leave that shit by the door. No, 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 no. I mean all that army shit. Oh. Okay. Uh, I think that's what you were looking for. All right. Yeah. yeah this is great. Hey, just wait a second. Here. Polystyrene. Yeah, you know, like white foam coffee cups, packing peanuts, shit like that. Yeah, got it. Hey, man. By the way, how did it go with the Wizard Island Witch? You mean Lieutenant Whitaker? <sighs> man, I thought you were going to leave all that shit by the door. That'll be all, Corporal. That'll be all.
Okay. Now where the hell is the yeast? Got it. Yeast, yeast. <gasps> Here it is. Yes. I hope this is enough. Should be it. Deacon, uh, <clears throat> Corporal St. John, yes. I, uh, Got the item on your requisition form. The yeast, there wasn't much. I'm sure that whatever you have is gonna be fine. So, um, just curious, uh, why do you need... Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. I gotta go. I'll talk to you when you bring it in. Whitaker, out. Okay. Stop doing that, please. I'm sorry? I know that things are strange, but I can't help that right now. Well, I live in a barracks with a dozen militia assholes. Well, my wife lives in a private tent up on an officer's ridge. Nothing strange about that. Deacon. And the only time that I see her is when I'm done running one of her errands. Nothing strange about that either, ma'am. My yeast, thank you. Uh, are, are you baking something? I mean, if you need an oven, I know no, we're fine. No, no, I'm using it to create <clears throat> viral proteins that they, they trigger these antibodies. <laughs> but of course, you are being sarcastic. Bread, viral proteins, it's all the same to me. Hey, wait a second. Here. Thank you. You already said that. I meant for stay. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Doc. Uh, Come in. Send us Have a seat. Have a seat. Mm -hmm. oh. Let's look here. So, who did you ride with back in the day? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're uh, getting at. No me mientas. Look, Corporal. I spent 20 years in East LA patching up bandas de motoristas and every other kind of pandillero. I know the look. And this? No kind of wood stove, Titis. Hmm. All right. Keep it clean. It'll heal on its own. Leave a nasty scar. But I want you to come back and see me in a couple of days. You got it. Funny thing. 
When the city burned and the hordes came in, neighborhoods at war for decades all came together, fought together. Latinos, Gueros, Chinos, Bloods, Crips. Didn't matter. Crazy what it takes to bring people together sometimes, no? Thanks, Doc. Dozens of new recruits have joined our ranks. We welcome you. We do not care about the color of your skin. We do not care what country you were born in. We do not care if you are a man or a woman. We do not care if you are gay or lesbian or bisexual or transgender. These are things beyond your control. These are things that God has ordained. And we accept them. What we do not accept are liars, thieves, right. yeah, rapists, yeah. murderers, yeah. fornicators, adulterers, oath breakers, drug addicts, or criminals of any kind. From this life or the one before. How you conduct yourself, how you act in the eyes of God. These are things that you do control. Any soldier or officer found guilty of any transgression, no matter how small, will be brought here to this very scaffold and will be hanged by the neck until they are dead. This punishment may seem cruel to some of you, but you have my promise. Any punishment of ours is a great mercy compared to the punishment of God that is being unleashed on the world outside these walls. None of us is perfect. We do not expect perfection. What we do expect is obedience, order, and discipline. Yeah. Yeah. Give us these things, and we will win this war. Company dismissed. Tell us where your camp is. Maybe we'll let you live. Fuck you. <laughs> Bring him down! I don't think he can hear us. Yeah? Yeah? Let's see if we can do something about that. I'm not telling you shit. Come on! Let's do this. Cut up! Hey, ah! Ah! Can you hear me? Ah! <laughs> Get him the fuck out of here! Here! Come on! What do you think? Maybe we could turn this in at that army camp. Get some credits. Jesus Christ. I'm coming, Taylor. Hang in there.
find a way in. better days I'll be honest with you okay. uh, Jesus okay listen to me pal take this pull it against your head like that good now I want you to uh, wait here uh, I'm gonna go radio uh, Captain Curry he's gonna send someone to pick you up all right all right man uh, yeah hell yeah Captain Corey, this is Corporal St. John. Come back. This is Corey. I'm here with Lieutenant Whitaker, checking on your progress. Corporal, tell Captain Curry that you're an immense help. I don't want to do without you. Oh, well, thank you, dude. That's great. I, that's not why I'm checking in, Captain. Ah, uh, there's the Marauder. Just off of South Rim Drive. Marauders? This close to the island? Uh, no, listen, no, 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 no. Um... I dealt with these bastards, but we have an injured man, Private Taylor. They fucking slice his ear off. Jesus, is he alright? What was he doing out there? Yeah, he's a little No, no idea what he was doing out here. I need you to send docu uh, Captain Jimenez and some men to come out and get him. I'll send you the coordinates. I'll head up there now and let him know. Hurry up. This looks like the spot. Let's go find some silicate. All right, fellas, how you getting inside? <laughs> Maybe up here. I should be able to climb up here. Okay, here, through this hole, maybe. Store. Oh, what the hell is the silicon?
Sarah, are you there? I've um, got the silicate you requested. Corporal St. John, yes, I'm here. I'm in a meeting with Lieutenant Weaver. Corporal St. John? What are you doing another run for me? Uh, I don't know. Um... Weaver! Corporal, report in to me when you get back to the island. Lieutenant Whitaker out. Fucking Weaver now. What the fuck is he doing? Weaver, I swear to God. What, are you afraid of a little competition? I get out! Hey, is there a problem? Ma'am. Just a friendly discussion, Corporal. Lieutenant. What was that all about? <sighs> Nothing, it's just... Weaver, he thinks that the answer to everything is just to burn it all to the ground. God, fuck him. Yeah, fuck him. Here. Thank you. No, don't. What now, Deacon? Thank me. Don't thank me. Every time you thank me, I end up outside with another one of your bullshit requisition forms. My bullshit? I, That's what you think this is? I, that everything I, I that I'm doing is just that. bullshit? No! Of course you didn't mean it. You know, I don't understand why you're still here. Well, then let me enlighten you. I spent the last two years killing freaks. One by one, up close, so close that I could smell the flesh rotting between their teeth. So if you're working on something here that's going to take them all out at once, fuck it, I'm in. But if you don't want me here, you know what? Just give the order, ma'am. Deacon, wait. I'm sorry, okay? Look, I, I do need... I just... <sighs> Thank... I appreciate your help. John to Whitaker, I, uh... Uh, Corporal St. John, yes. Matt, the Colonel is here. I was just telling him how helpful you've been. Corporal St. John? Yes. Lieutenant Whitaker has been singing your praises. Just doing my job, Colonel. Uh, sir? I'm glad. Lieutenant Whitaker's work is well behind schedule. Perhaps with your help. Matt, I told you. The biology, the work that I'm doing is far more complicated than just Building a bomb. Weaver is... Lieutenant Weaver is ahead of schedule. If you don't make similar progress, I'm going to have more resources for you. Is that clear, Lieutenant? Yes, sir. Carry on. Uh, is everything okay? It sounds a lot like... Sorry, I have to go.
There we go. Oh, here's some. some. Up in flames. Okay. Another nest. Let's go. enough. Just a few more. Okay, one more piece. Can use this. This ought to do it. I'll mark the rest on my map. Have Corey send some men out here to get the rest. Be well. Hey, I uh, got the shit you were asking for. Oh, good, good. Set it down over there. Let me get a piece. Okay. It's good. So how are things going with Lieutenant Whitaker? How do you mean? <laughs> I see you coming and going, man. You're doing a lot of runs for her. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> okay, man. Yeah, I tried to hit that once when I first got here. Is that right? Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, that lady's got a fine ass. I'm an ass man. I can't help myself. Yeah, yeah. How'd that work out for you? Not too good. I mean, she threw me down on the ground, tried to break my goddamn arm. Listen up. You need to watch yourself with her. That lady's intense. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that in mind. Uh, you know anything else? Uh, no, but grab these and follow me. You see, polystyrene is an aromatic hydrocarbon, while gasoline is made up of simple aliphatic hydrocarbons. You try saying that. Anyway, mix the two together, all those molecular chains break up into single covalent bonds. 
Yeah, everybody knows that. Why are we burning all this crap? <clears throat> Isn't the world screwed up enough as it is? That is adding <clears throat> pollution. <laughs> yes! <sighs> that, my friend, is a napalm Molotov. Uh, <laughs> and that is how we're gonna win this war. Once I fine-tune the formula, that shit's gonna burn hotter than an acetylene torch. Know how that is? Yeah, I got a pretty good idea. I worked in an auto shop. You need anything else? Nah, man. I'm good. So goddamn close. <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> gonna blow up and burn, son! Taking it to the ass! Sarah. Yeah, just um, put it on the counter, will you? Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. It's... This is just really frustrating for me sometimes. I wouldn't know. Uh, I, I just need another requisition form. No, you know what? I'm I, I'm not going to give this one to you. Why? Why not? So I'm going to go with you this time. Let's go. Come on, soldier. See if you can keep up with me. Yeah, right. When's the last time you went on a run? I mean, you know, out in the shit. Hey, I've done supply runs like anyone else. I gotta admit, it's been a while. You even have a bike? Yeah, but, uh, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna ride with you on this run. No chance of us getting separated that way. Yes, ma'am. Stop with... The... Hey, you, uh, you been inside the Ark yet? Uh, the cave's here. Yeah, I got the grand tour when I arrived. From the colonel himself. Come on, even you gotta give the man some credit. For the vision, stockpiling, preparing, saving what we can. Yeah, well, I'll give him this. This island is a goddamn fortress. Nothing's gonna get in here without a hell of a fight. Exactly. Here, this is my tent. Wow, nice place. It's got that woman's touch. Oh, right. I'm hardly ever here, and most nights I usually spend it on a cot in the lab. Look at this. This will get the job done. It was a gift from Matt when I first joined up. Matt? The Colonel. Oh, Jesus, come on, Deacon. It's just a gun. Come on. Let's go this way. I want to show you something. Following you. When I got here, the militia had cut down almost every tree on the island. I asked Matt, the colonel, to save the last one. Oh, yeah? Well, why did you, uh, do that? Do you remember the weekend we rode up here? To Crater Lake, I mean, after we got married. Uh, yeah, I, I, I remember. I remember thinking, God, when Mount Mazama blew up, how long did it take for the lava to cool and the soil to form? All these trees to grow. When all this is over, when we leave this fucking island, I want there to be at least one tree left. Uh, listen, these guys don't give a shit about any of that. I've, I've been through their dead zone. Look, the colonel's focused on winning the war. The sooner I do my part, the sooner he'll stop burning everything to the ground. God, was this little... In Seattle, on my wharf. Uh, used to serve. <clears throat> What's wrong? No, nothing. It's just. <sighs> Never mind. <clears throat> hold on, uh. Hold on tight. College east of here, off the highway. You know the one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's take the south bridge. It'll be faster. I'm with you.
Hey, so I gotta ask, uh, all this stuff, the, the yeast, the silicon... Why do I need it? The weapon I'm working on is a virucide. If I can isolate the virus that causes the cells to mutate, I can kill it. Okay. We almost didn't. After the feds pulled out, anyone still alive started putting up roadblocks of their own, and they started shooting people on sight. We somehow made it to that refugee camp where we were, we thought that you were going to be waiting, but like I said, it was gone. So we tried a few others, same story, no survivors, everything overrun. So within a week, the whole damn valley was a war zone. People were killing each other over scraps of food, sometimes killing each other for no reason at all. If Boozer and I hadn't stuck together, I don't think we would have made it. Wait, Boozer? He's alive? Where is he? What happened to him? Yes, he's alive, but he's he's at a camp up north. He can't ride anymore because because he lost his arm. But, uh, but he is alive. I'm so glad he's alive. I, I'm really sorry. I, I should have asked you about him sooner. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh, my turn. Look, it's gonna sound stupid, but, um, but that night in Farewell, my mongrel's ring, do you still have it? Deacon, I'm sorry. It's the Colonel's policy. They, they confiscate all jewelry when you come into the camp. They melt down the gold and silver to use in Weaver's project or whatever the hell. I forgot all about it. I'm, I'm really sorry. Uh, no, don't worry about it. I don't know, I was just thinking out loud. It doesn't matter. Here, I think this is it. You've been here before? Once. Before, you know, career day. They invited me to give a presentation on exciting careers in biochemistry. God. What? Nothing, just... Looking back, it should have been a talk on how to survive the end of the world. Come on. How are we gonna get through this? Should we find a way around? No, uh, hold on. I can boost you up there. You ready? Yeah. Uh, you got it? <clears throat> got it. Here, watch your head. Got it. Jesus, what the hell happened here? This is one of the earliest survivor camps. Set up before they figured out that hordes like to run along the main highways. It was dead long before I got here. This entire place is gonna be crawling. Yeah. Do you know where we're going? Like I said, I've only been here once, but I think the science building is back there. I don't want to bring the whole place down with us. We don't even know what's in there. Well, we know what's in there, but you goddamn news. Now come on, let's just go around. We're not getting through here. No. Whoever was living here jammed the place up pretty good.
How about through here? The door's locked, but it doesn't look bare. I think I can get this there. Not so hard. Through here looks clear. Coming. Here, uh, help me move this. Hold on, okay. You ready? Push! There. We're just gonna pull them down on top of each other, so... Wait a second, what if... You come up on top of here. You lay down covering fire. <laughs> you take out the strikers, I'll take out the rest. Are you sure about this? Yeah, 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 I do this all the time. Just keep up a steady stream of fire, all right? Deacon. Once I'm through... down. It's clear. You okay? Jesus, that was a little too close. No, we had it all the way. Gunfire's gonna bring in more. Yeah, we'll be long gone by then. Where now? Uh, I don't know. Uh, they got the place barricaded up pretty good. Uh, see if there's a hole in any of these walls. Place where we can climb up. All right, I'll look over here. Anything? No. Hey, over here, there's an open window. Coming. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Hold on, let me find something. Ah, uh, Sarah? Hold on. I gotta find something I can throw down. Oh, shit! Deacon! Oh, shit, shit, shit! God damn it! Uh, just find something for me to climb on! I'm on it! back to school. Oh, yeah, well. And now you finally got your way. <laughs> well, better late than never. Oh, okay. Thanks. You ready? Mm-hmm. Let's go. All right. Here, let me go first this time. Yes, ma'am. Whatever you say. It's like a bomb went off in here. Maybe one did. Come on. I think we can get through Locked here. Tight. The door's jammed. Here. Mm -hmm. I got this. I got it. See? I told you. See? Like I said, I got this. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. How badly do you need this piece of equipment? All right, we're almost there. Look, we're not giving up now. I'm just asking. Wow, 
Now we know how the freaks were getting in. Someone needed to learn how to park. It looks clear. <laughs> Shit. More barricades, and they're everywhere. Huh. Uh, check the buildings. I can see the science building. It's over there. Just gotta get through these barriers. Hey! Another open window. Got it. Here, let me boost you up again. Uh, only this time you... Don't take so long finding something for you to climb. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got it! Okay, hold on. Hey, and try not to attract any more swarmers this time, all right? Sure, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Sarah! 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 No! Damn it. No. Sarah! Sarah! Where are you? Come on, answer me! If anything's happened to you... Sarah! I'm gonna kill every one of you fucking bastards. Sarah! Answer me! so many of them. I just kept coming. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Come on. I'm fine. Come on, we're almost there. This is the science building. Yeah, it looks like this place has been shut up tight from the inside. Come on, there's got to be a way in. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. I've killed freaks before. Oh, I know, I know. It's just... Deacon, I'm fine. Let's go. Let's check this door. Can you open it? <sighs> no, it's jammed from the inside. Let's go around the building. There has to be a way in. Well, I'm telling you, someone sealed it tight from the inside. Well, we gotta check, right? I guess not. It won't open. It's okay, I'm sure Jammed we'll like all the rest. Another way. Oh, shit. Wait, sir. Hold on, hold on for a second. Those are. Those are nukes. They're inside. Those are nukes in there, which means. There's gotta be a way up from the roof. Come on. Come on, the roof's lower over here. Yep, we just have to find a way up. Sarah, here, uh, help me push this. We can use it to climb up. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay, push! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hold up. You got it? Yeah. 
Okay, be ready. Newts can get pretty nasty when you trespass on their territory. the last of them. You enjoyed that? What, killing newts? No, but... I mean, you gotta admit, they're pretty goddamn annoying. You're right about that. Here, give me your hand. Okay. <clears throat> Careful. Steady. No thanks. Where, where, where are we going? Try these doors. Uh, one of these is gonna be a lab or a lecture room. Centrifuge has to be here somewhere. or attack. Hemlock. Jesus. Over here. Is this that the uh, centrifuge you were looking for? Yep, this is it. Come on. Okay. Let's do this. Let's move. Up, close. Hold on a second. 
gotta give that centrifuge. Okay. 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 Alright, I got it. Let's go. Oh, Jesus, that was a really big gun. <sighs> yeah. Sort of noticed that. We're gonna have to clear them out before we can get to the bike. You got any more of those smoke grenades? Yeah. We're up here, you can see the entire park. I watch where I'm going, and then you throw the grenades ahead of me. You got it? Got it. Okay, let's do this. Hold on. I'm coming to you. You all right? Am I all right? What's wrong with you? Oh, I don't know. It's just that I remember the day that I met you. You fired my gun in the air to scare up those rednecks, and you're so scared you couldn't stop shaking. Yeah, well, lots changed since then. <clears throat> Come on, let's get the hell out of here. What, uh, happened to you, sir? What's that supposed to mean? Hey, look, I get it. A lot's changed. Everyone we knew is gone, but it doesn't explain. Explain what, Deacon? Why everyone in the good old boys club calls me the Wizard Island Witch? Look, I don't give a shit about any of that. I... Nothing's happened to me that hasn't happened to every other fucking person on this planet. Yeah. Okay. If you say so. Come on, over here. After you. Can I say thank you? No. <laughs> okay. You know, I just wanted to let you know how much I needed this.
Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock in the middle of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some, uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a dock to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. <sighs> okay. Oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Estarás bien. You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. You know, me parece... It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal? Doc? Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, in Corpo no, Saint No, no, no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No, no I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. You Dismissed, Corporal. <laughs> Matt, I've been out in this shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I, I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. That's it, that's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. <sighs> no, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath where Dude, I could check out. you can't get what I need there, you... <laughs> God, you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you can get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm, pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in this ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know? Considering... Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Well, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean... Having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. 
We need the order and discipline or we're not gonna make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? No, oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I and mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and bites. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? I, we're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniform. You know, there is that. Where are we heading? Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. Was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having a uh, bear problems. Bear problems? Shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from... To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way! Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's going to report you. I mean, how's Matt going to take that? The colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh, my God. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day? Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Uh, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know. Loser's arm got fucked up. And I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't going to let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all. I guess I didn't want to... I didn't want to let him down. So I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive in that. That's, that's when I really wanted to... That's when I really wanted to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still have my mongrel's ring. That's, that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? We must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tielsen Tunnel. I need your help to move that out of the way. What the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um, you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. 
How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You can help me move this or what? Yeah, sure. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a narrow checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but yeah. Familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. Wow. I never thought I'd see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Well, you guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. It's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh, my God. What is it? Nothing. It's... What the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power's still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on. 